All right, so we're out here. Uh, it's a cold December day in PA. Uh, I'm gonna throw some streamers. Um, you know, I already worked the first hole. Um, didn't get any takers, but my guess is it's gonna be slow because it's pretty cold. Forgot my gloves. Um, they're back home, so hands are probably gonna freeze. I have to take a few breaks, warm up the hands. But you know, we're gonna try to cover some water. Um, this is a new stretch, um, a river for me. But we're gonna go after some big brownies, and uh, you know, we'll see if we can move anything. But the plan is to just walk, cover some water, uh, pack the lunch. So as long as I stay warm, I'm planning to stay out here as long as possible. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Walked a pretty good distance, um, you know, covered a lot of water, um, moved pretty quickly through streams, just trying to cover water, find some aggressive fish. Um, I think I hit, I, I know I hit a fish, um, but I'm pretty sure it was a stocked rainbow because I saw it flash and it wasn't, it, it wasn't very big. It was probably only like three or four inches bigger than my fly because um, I'm using probably like a five inch streamer, four inch streamer or something like that. Um, but, you know, I think he just got a little aggressive, hit it, and he was kind of small, so I don't know if he ever actually got the hook in his mouth or he just nipped at the tail. Um, but flashed him, and then I haven't really moved anything since. Um, but we covered all that water, um, and now I'm going to move, I'm going to drive farther upstream. I'm going to take five, five or so minutes here to warm up. Um, we're going to drive farther upstream and see if we can hit something closer to the headwaters. So, we'll see you out there again in a couple of minutes. Packed it up, calling it a day. Um, you know, walked another decent ways down. Um, you know, and I had to walk back. Pretty tired, actually. Um, but you know, we hit a I, we hit a small brook trout. I think um, it could be a, could have been another little rainbow. But to me, it looked like like a little brook trout. I downsized my fly, so I wasn't using that that big articulated, uh, you know, black sculpin. I switched to a, uh, a olive sculpin with a single hook. Um, and was just slowly, slowly stripping it back to me um, down this nice little glide and uh, had a little one take it, but he was small. Um, you know, the, the hook was pretty big for his mouth probably. Um, had him on for a couple of seconds and then uh, he popped off. But, you know, it was a good day. He didn't see anyone else on the water. You know, nice peaceful here in the mountains. The sun poked through. Um, still wish I would have my gloves. My hands are freezing. Um, you know, I took little short breaks, put my hands um, in my pockets and stuff, warming them up. And then went back to it, but can't complain. Um, you know, I always enjoy a day on the water, and uh, you know, I look forward to uh, doing it again in a couple days. I mean, with a, I, I really just came out because uh, I'm going on Thursday. Today's Tuesday um, with a buddy. We're gonna we're gonna streamer fish. He's really good at it. Um, he's already caught a few big ones so far this winter, um, and uh, you know, I wanted to test my luck by myself. Um, but we're gonna fish with him on Thursday. I'm really looking forward to that. He's an awesome fisherman. Um, you know, hopefully I can learn a few things from him. And, uh, you know, maybe one of us will get on a fish, which would be sweet. If not, whatever. But I definitely would like to see a big fish, big brown, uh, pop out of some, a log jam. 
and uh, make its way to the net. You know, that's the goal. So, so we'll see you on Thursday. Um, yeah. See you.